Today we're looking at some of the best new UX UI design tools for the month of December and January. There are some incredible resources and tools from Google, Lottie Files, Cursor, even AI animation tools which I never thought would ever exist. So without further ado, let's check them out. I'm hosting the Bangalore UX UI design meetup this 18th of January. If you are interested and if you'd like to meet 200 plus designers, incredible moments, food, merchandise that I have specially designed for you. Early bird tickets will sell out quick, so go ahead, grab these tickets. All right, so the first one is a major update made to the Google Stitch platform. This allows you to not only create UI designs with one single prompt, but also prototype with prompting. So just like prototypes, you can actually add real prototypes from one screen to the other, from a button to a pop-up, from a listing to a checkout. You can decide what kind of prototype it should make and based on your already existing screens, it will try and create the best possible experience. It also analyzes your screens to see what are the best ways to create a prototype. So if there's a button, it'll add interaction to the button. If there's a dropdown, it will add interaction to that dropdown. It will analyze your designs and figure out the best possible prototypes. You can then edit it by clicking on each element and adding more prompts like a comment and it will change those designs. You can even point and edit. So in the prototype, if you think there is an element which does not work for you or you want a change of text or title or whatever, it will allow you to do that as well, which is really cool. Once you're done, you can export this entire screens along with the interaction, along with all the text, content, everything to AI Studio through Gemini 3, which will allow you to further not only prompt, but also convert it into code. And you already know that Google Gemini 3 does a pretty good job at making interactive real websites and apps. Spline has also been cooking. Their new HANA tool now supports complete 3D. That means you can actually add 3D animations to 2D text, to, to, uh, to like a 2D environment without having to learn this 3D tool like you would have to learn from scratch. This is a much more simplified version of Spline in a way because Spline was a little complex for new users. HANA is like a tool like Fig, but with 3D capabilities now in built into it. And you can combine 2D motion, 2D elements with 3D, and 3D motion and 3D elements with 2D, back and forth. It has all the complexities of its 3D tool now combined into its 2D tool, which is HANA. And look at some of the examples that they've created. A basic 2D layout can look insane with these 3D transforms, 3D elements, 3D textures. This is going to take your 3D game to the next level. This tool is definitely a must check out, a must try if you haven't yet. Talking about animations, there's a new animation tool in town, just like Lottie Files or Lottie Labs. And Hira actually is a Y Combinator backed startup to create insane animations using just prompts. You can upload an image, text, logo, whatever you want, and it will create some incredible animations around it. Graph animations, animations, there's logo animations, there's cool stuff for advertisements, websites, and even videos. I will post up some examples which you can see in the background. This can be a multi-purpose tool. It's not just for UI design, it's for video editing. It's for creating your own graphics or if you want to post something on Instagram or creating reels, etc. They also have a lot of templates you can check out, 100 plus templates that you can try out and then tweak it according to your you know, brand or whatever you like. You can freely edit, that means you can change colors and text, but you can do a lot of stuff just through AI prompting, which is the code in my opinion. Okay, another one from Google, since Google is so active these days. Google design team just launched their Google Sans Flex and it was going viral everywhere. Everyone was showing how credible this is, and it truly is. Not only is it a variable font, that means you can change the sizing, but it rivals the San Francisco font from Apple, in my opinion, because San Francisco Pro, SF Pro, actually has a lot of this also. But the way Google is executing it, they're making what they were using internally in their teams and their company available for the public to use is Amazing. It's an open source font. That means you can use it anywhere. And the Sans Flex font 
goes exactly with the Google font, the G-O-O-G-L-E logo. Actually, that is the font that they've really made public. Earlier, they said that it didn't work well with typography on interfaces, but now they have made it such that it works well for everything now. You would have seen this font in ads, in their logos, in their product launches, like the Pixel phone. This is that very font. And the best part is it supports a majority of languages, 20 plus major languages and scripts. So English, Hindi, Ur Arabic, Japanese, Hebrew, Korean, Thai, not only languages, but also scripts that it supports. There is an entire article, not only article, but guide written on this, on how you can use this, how you can get started, what changes they've made, stuff like that. All right, so I recently posted a new video which showed how UI design is shifting because the priority for designers now is to build rather than to create basic UIs or to create basic prototypes. Cursor just made a massive movement towards that. It's called Visual Editor and it brings essentially the properties panel that you see in Figma, but into coding tools like Cursor. So if you've ever used a tool like Cursor or Lovable, now they will also support all these design tools like the properties panel, being able to click on an element, redesign it from the prompts or from the properties window, prompt for a certain section or certain design, even move around stuff freely. So it's like a free canvas for you to move around elements as if you were using a free designer like Figma. Now, of course, they already have everything set for coding and development where you can actually develop this product and finally launch it. But now with this design editor, it is much more designer friendly and the designers at Cursor are also using this. In fact, there is an entire video with the top designers at Cursor talking about their workflows with Cursor and Visual Editor. So if you want to learn that as well, I will have a link for all those lessons as well so that you can learn as well as you can use this new design tool, essentially a new design tool called Cursor. Wow, I never thought Cursor would be design friendly. It was majorly for vibe coding only, but they're getting into the Figma territory. Talking about learning, Google just introduced not only a new platform, but a bunch of new tools called skills.google. And boy, is it an amazing place to learn. It is kind of like this learning dashboard for you where you can learn the AI skills for tomorrow. So essentially a platform to learn AI skills for not only using Google tools, but in general, you know, like AI for design, AI for UX. So for example, I typed in UX design, I got a bunch of different courses pertaining to the foundations of user experience design, which is a complete 13 hour course, which talks about it in reference with AI as well. So they are incorporating a lot of the AI elements that now, you know, designers are utilizing into these lessons and courses. One course I would like to recommend to you guys is the Advanced Conversation Design. This is just a 30 minute advanced level course. How you can use in areas like voice. Voice is something which is becoming very prevalent. You see that with Gemini, ChatGPT, Ray-Ban, Meta Glasses. You know, chat, voice and chat is coming into everything nowadays, especially with new AI tools and AI devices, etc. Okay, so motion design is not only a design trend in 2026, but it's also crucial for companies, for teams to learn motion, for sure. But how do you strategize motion design? Lori Files just took out a plan for you, a 30 to 60 day plan with a 10 minute long video. It's not very long. It's a 10 minute long video. And with this video, not only are you getting a, a good strategy on how to move forward with motion, and it, it's taking you like through an entire process of how you can utilize motion, how you can collaborate on motion experiments as and well as project for your designs, for your current projects, and how you can use Lottie files in this whole thing. Lottie files is great for all of this stuff. I'm building a tutorial as we speak for some of its latest features, but it's incredible. And I'll just show some really cool examples on screen, how companies can utilize this. And 
thousands of companies are already utilizing this. So this will be a nice little guide for you guys to actually check out. Okay, how about learning the AI workflows of top companies? Dive Club is making it easier. Recently, they've shot a bunch of videos from some of the top designers from top companies, and they've put it in a nice little playlist called Tomorrow's Tools, including a new video where a senior designer at Atlassian talks about how they are using Figma Make in their processes. So whether it's you wanting to learn a new AI tool or you want to learn AI workflows of top companies and how the future of AI looks from a corporate standpoint, these are the best videos to watch. Most people are just wondering what kind of AI workflows will businesses have or how can we implement that in our business? So this is that answer to that. Go check him out. It's free, so why not? All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you liked the video, then like the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, you're missing out because I post every single week, twice a week now, which is crazy, bringing you the freshest in design, tutorials, news, whatever it is, you will have it on my channel. I'll see you next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.